Hi there YouTube, this is Big Kid 666999 showing you folks how to make your own YouTube videos using a program called Fraps. Now before we get into Fraps itself, there's uh, three things that you can do to prepare to make your video. The first thing is, as you may notice right now, there are two black bars on both sides of the screen. This is due to a mismatch of aspect ratio between the uh, 16 by 10 aspect that is used by most computer screens and the 16 by 9 aspect that is used by most televisions and also by YouTube. So to get rid of these bars as we record we're going to switch to a resolution with an aspect ratio of 16 by 9. To do that you right click anywhere on the screen anywhere on the desktop and you select screen resolution. And there we are. This window pops up. You go to resolution. And right now it's set to 60, uh, to correction 1920 by 1200. But we're going to change it to 1920 by 1080, which is 16 by 9. Keep the changes. And there we are. Another thing that you can do to prepare to make a better video is to use, uh, you may notice this mouse cursor is a little bigger and it's got a black line around it. This is not the default Windows cursor, but it is available from uh, Windows. So to change that, what you do is you click on the Start menu, you go to the Control Panel, and you find Mouse. That brings up the mouse properties. In the mouse properties, there's a tab called pointers. And in pointers, you're going to find scheme. And there's a drop-down menu here. And you can see the scheme right now is set to magnified system scheme, like the... But the default scheme uh, for Windows 7 is the Windows Arrow system scheme, which comes with smaller cursors. So I'm going to just switch back and forth to show you how to do this. Alright, so there you go. You selected it, you apply it, and now you see how your cursor is smaller. And if the screen wasn't magnified, you would probably not notice it all that much. So we'll change it back. Magnified scheme. Apply. And OK. And there we are. So now we close up the control panel and we've taken care of the second thing. Now there's a third thing that you can do to make a better video. You may want to use your webcam to see to let people see you as you talk to make it all more personal. It's not something that I like. I don't like to get that personal but it is an option so I'm going to show you how to do it. Each webcam comes with a utility and all you really have to do is just bring up that utility wait for it to come and there it is so now people can watch you uh, and then of course as you record there it is now I'm gonna close this down because I don't really like doing it that much but there you are now we'll get into the fraps program itself so I'm gonna open up fraps actually I'm only gonna restore it because I'm obviously running the program in order to record this video. So there's Fraps. Magnify that. Alright. Now you notice that it's got four tabs. General, 99 FPS, FPS, Movies, and Screenshots. We're not going to be using Screenshots because it's all it does is it takes static images of your desktop and that doesn't really help you. So, we're in the General tab. The only thing that you need to change here is to check this one here that says Monitor Arrow Desktop. The reason you want to do that because Fraps, when this is not checked, only records the active program. It's designed for recording gameplay and that's what you normally want to do with Fraps. But when you are doing a tutorial like this, then you want to record the entire desktop and everything that runs on it or that's visible on it. So make sure that's checked. Passing to the next tab. 
99 FPS. Now the only thing that you want to change here is these overlay corners. Now as I uh, already mentioned, FRAPS, which stands for frames per second, is designed for gameplay and knowing the frames per second is very important to gamers because they want to know just how well their uh, their graphics card performs uh, during certain phases of the game. Now in order to see it you can make it visible like for example right now it's in the uh, top left hand corner there's the uh, frames per second count in the top right hand corner bottom right hand corner bottom left hand corner. Now when you're doing an instructional video such as this tutorial well you don't want to see that at all so the best way is to select hide overlay. Now it's gone. However that uh, does bring a problem with it because as you may have noticed the uh, counter was red which means it was recording and it's important for you to know that you are recording now if I stopped recording then of course it would turn yellow it would still display now the uh, one way of still knowing when you're recording is to use the notification area icon that Fraps has so there it is right here in the bottom right hand corner now the problem with this icon is that by default this thing will only show up for a few seconds after you start the program and then disappear. So that does not give you that uh, uh, visual feedback that lets you know that you are recording or if you're not recording. I mean you may have hit the F9 key but for some reason it didn't start then you have to hit it again to start your recording. Um, so you can change that by uh, going to the control panel so let's go to the control panel from the start menu control panel and what you want to find is notification area icons right here now once you click on it it'll bring up this and what you want to do is you want to find fraps which is right there and you want to make sure that under behaviors it is set to show icon and notifications. Now there's three settings you can actually have which is show icons and notifications, hide icon and notifications and only notifications. Only notifications is what it's set to by default. That means that you really only see the icon when the program is trying to notify you of something. It's trying to tell you something that it's done or that you need to interact with. But what you want is for it to show all the time right so that's why you want to select this okay done that close that up and uh, you're good to go close up the control panel open up fraps again and there it is now moving to the next tab which is movies now here the first thing you want to note is that under video capture hotkey it says F9 now you can change it to a different one but I don't really see a reason to do it but you do want to know which one it is F9 is the key so to start recording I press F9 to stop recording I press F9 again uh, under video capture settings you can set the frame rate FPS frames per second and you want to set that to 29.97 which is the same as what YouTube uses that way it matches no conversion will be necessary you can go full size or half size full size means that you're recording the entire screen in the resolution that it's in or half size will be half the uh, resolution but it also results in a smaller file uh, I recommend you go full size you can always shrink it down later but you cannot increase the resolution after you've taped it okay then we're going to go to the section called sound capture settings now here you want to check uh, record window sound but only if you actually want to hear sounds as they happen like for example uh, if you get a beep because of an error for example from windows well you'll hear that if you're playing back a youtube video while well, you're making a youtube video for example again you have to need that you need to have that checked to be able to hear the sound of it if, if however you don't want to hear the sound then 
he can of course uncheck it. And finally, record external input. Well, you gotta have that because if you want to talk into the mic and you want to have a running commentary, then you want to check it. However, if you're like some people who first like to record the video and do it and then later do a voiceover in their editing program, then uh, you would leave it unchecked. Okay, that uh, concludes all the FRAP settings. Now we're ready to record. So you press F9 and you'll see the little icon in the uh, notification area in the bottom right hand corner of your screen which is right down here going from yellow to red then you do what you do you explain what you think you show and after you've done all that you press F9 again and it will go to yellow that tells you that you have stopped recording now after you finish recording what you want to do is you want to restore your fraps window if it isn't open and you want to go to the movies tab and then click on view and there you will see all the clips of your recording that fraps has taken and you can then take those clips and move them to a working folder which is what I like to do or you can just take note of the path of where they're stored and then when you open up your video editing program you'll know where to go. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that uh, you got some use out of it. So you have a nice day or night. Bye YouTube.